Upland Kingdoms is a layer two experience. It links in with Upland. So they've got a store where you can spend, you can like get things for Upix, right? You can recruit peasants for Upix. You can buy a new city package for Upix as well. You can do things like that. In the same way that Upland has like its mechanics and uh, it has its, its, its mechanisms to do with um, like real world currency and earning and all that sort of stuff. This in a sense is connected to that, right? So before we go into what I've got going over here, because I've been messing around a little bit, I've got some props in um, LA. So you can you can set up your kingdom in any of these sorts of like locations here that are listed over here. I've got some in LA, so I've been messing around over here. Um, I've got all, f all four of my props. This is not on purpose, but all four of them are in Scrubland, which is probably appropriate because I am a scrub when it comes to Upland Kingdoms. And all of my props are in Scrubland. So, Upland Kingdoms is a game built on top of Upland using the properties that you own as your own domain. Anything that is built on a property in-game is attached to that property. That means if you sell that property in Upland, those buildings move with it to the new owner in Upland Kingdoms, right? Um, your goal will be to develop your kingdom, raise an army, amass wealth, and subjugate other players to become the most powerful ruler in each kingdom. You can check out the map over here. In whichever place that you select to be your like kingdom. Right now, you've got th these five places here. Dallas, Las Vegas, Kansas City, Arlington, and Los Angeles as um, cities that you can start up your kingdom in. Right? And the map here shows you, just vaguely shows you what type of land is associated with which parts of like the city right so clearly i bought places that were <laughs> in scrubland uh you can also it doesn't you don't have to just check the map over there you can also search lands here um search plots search plots and it will show you um it'll show you like what what type of land it is and stuff like that right you can find out some more information about that over there from there right once you're familiar with that pick whichever place you want to start and then you'll be able to accept like a little gift as like a starter package i can't see that here anymore for me because i've already accepted it so pick the place that you want to be in first before you accept it i went with la because that's where i've got my stuff and then here we go this is upland kingdoms right you can take a look at what you've got resources wise in your granary how many berries have you picked how much bread do you have how much game have you hunted yeah what's the cost what's the upkeep cost over here um what's going on what's what have you set as like your your upkeep for your to feed your workers you know how many workers oh my god someone reproduced someone did it someone did it they went and did it. They went and they, 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 they did the thing. Literally, in this case. They went and did the thing. I now have eight laborers. My goodness. Did I always have eight laborers? No, I had six peasants and one farmer. Because it was seven. I had seven laborers. Yeah, definitely. Someone did it. <laughs> Someone did the thing. Right. Now. Here are my properties. Here's what I've got. All scrubland. Just, just terrible. But let's click on this one over here. Um, 13810 Friar Street. Let's click on this one over here. And we're going to start a new job hypo. When you click on new job, it's going to say, do you want to construct stuff or do you want to harvest stuff? I'm going to click on harvest over here. And there was two game and a bunch of trees weren't there. So I'm going to say for the two game that's over here, I'm going to set my peasants, seven of them, to go and um, a new day has come. The orders you gave were obsolete by the time your subjects received them. Click anywhere to get the latest news from your kingdom. Is that because is that because we ticked over to half past? I think that's because we ticked over. I think that's why. Subject is it? Oh, Woo! oh. I thought they'd all been murderized. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got spooked. Got spooked for a second. Right, okay. 
So, where were we? There's two game and ten trees over here. New job, Hypu. So, we're going to harvest. We've got the game. We're going to harvest two game. And we're going to set our peasants on the Tascarino at hand over here. Three days remaining. That's an hour and a half IRL. I've got, I've got my one woodworker here turning um logs into planks right which is pretty cool so i should be getting i should be consuming one log to to produce five planks that's what should be happening do i have any planks where are my planks at oh damn oh look look at that tracy look at it do you see what i see your boys only just got four planks right then and there unbelievable insane gameplay he's done it he's done it four planks what so i've got my woodworker there because i because i so i made the improvement on this property over here buffalo avenue my first prop 6501 buffalo avenue my first prop I made on there, I made the improvement of the chopping block, right? That used up resources and, and it made, and it took some time to make that improvement, to make that structure, if you will, on that property. So I've got a chopping block on there. And with the chopping block, I can set a woodworker to turn logs, consume logs into wooden planks. And that's what's happening over there, which is very cool very very exciting so what can i do on here or here right over here we've already set seven of our peasants to harvest some gain but i don't have to i don't have to leave them there harvesting that game if i don't want to what i can do is i can say well i want to make a uh cook pot but that costs 25 stone it costs 10 logs and 25 stone i don't have 25 stone i don't have it I need stone. How do I get stone? Like maybe a quarry? I need logs to build a quarry! <sighs> Goodness me. But I'm consuming logs to make planks. Okay. I think I'm gonna need to stop. Um I'm gonna need to stop my woodworker. Yeah. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Production none. Save. Okay, done. Right. No one is making planks out of wood anymore. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to chop some trees. I see. Right, okay. Assign zero here. Right, okay. We're gonna get the trees on Buffalo Avenue. Forget the improvement there. Over here. We need new job market there's the marketplace as well harvest eight trees one woodworker not enough time am i right well hopefully that's going to produce a lot of logs you know what i'm saying so then once i get my logs i can then make a quarry yeah then I can get some stones and then i can make a cook pot and then i can make better food for my workers bada bing bada bom everyone's a wiener right what would also be great is if i had a farm so i'm gonna have to take a look at what properties are around la that are on plains land and then i'm gonna turn that or hills hills are a jack of all trade farming's also possible yeah so we can do that too can you make epics you can if you if you sell your stone on the marketplace you might want to sell a property for what it has in upland kingdoms rather than what it has in upland as well does that make sense so in a roundabout way you can you can make up but also in a direct way you can make up by by utilizing the marketplace like that which is pretty cool very very cool if you want to make a purchase in the store or buy or sell resources for upics in the market you will need to be near one of the upland kingdom dev shops in upland there is one for every city released in upland kingdoms find the closest one referred to this table over here here 
Farming. If only I had a farm. Yeah? Know what I mean? If only I had a farm, that'd be great. I could farm some stuff. But farming looks like it's a really cool part of it, too. You know? You, you like, sow crops. You sow the seeds of crops during certain, like, time periods. And you harvest them during certain time periods. That's so cool. <laughs> In order to feed your people, you're going to need to grow some food. I suppose you could just buy it from the market, but that's expensive. For every 20 up to, rounded up, of farm, you can fit one worker on it. Peasants are fine farmers, but if you really want to boost your yields, you want to have farmers working your farms. Different crops grow at different rates and need to be sown and harvested at different times. Some can even be grown twice in a year. As you can see, friends, the idea of this, especially if you only got like a few properties, if, you, if your portfolio of properties in Upland is massive, if you've got hundreds and hundreds of properties, of course, uh, as the game is ticking over in half an hour increments, you can keep busy and you can keep doing things, of course. But if you're an, like an average player, if you're like myself, if you've got four props over here, um, especially as you get started, as you're getting going, you're going to assign like your, your subjects to do things that will take half an hour or an hour or four and a half hours right so it's designed to have a pace that's kind of like in the background in the background it's a little bit slower it's not supposed to be like immediate and you're constantly like churning through things necessary it's not designed to be like that so you, you you do a little bit of upland kingdoms you do some upland you go for a walk you tend to your irl garden yeah you play some diablo you play some final fantasy 16 whatever do you know what i mean that's that's the idea. That's that's the vibe I'm getting off it. Get yourselves on Upland Kingdoms if you haven't done so. Uplandkingdoms.com. Get yourself in. You'll have to link it up with your Upland. Really easy, really simple to do. It guides you through the whole process. And then the properties that you have in Upland will be linked into the properties you've got in Upland Kingdoms. And you'll be able to play that. And you've got, you've got layer two experience. Real utility. Fantastic. 